Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please click that subscribe button. Also remember to click that bell button and make sure to tick that box to send all notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. With that in mind, let's get on with the video. What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And welcome to my video guide for the EX and the Cosmos Fight for France event, Gearded for Freedom. So if you are new to this channel, this is the new... Uh, format that I am doing my videos on basically I am going to be talking about talking about both the EX and the Cosmos fight in this video the first video you will see will always be the EX fight and then followed by the Cosmos fight and the reason for this is quite simple basically Cosmos is just a harder version of the EX and I don't want to keep repeating myself in two separate video now obviously some things will change just like in this video the last boss in the EX there is only one of the Ank beasts while in the Cosmos there will be two so I will try and note the difference between the two uh, throughout this video but the video essentially still remains the same I will be talking about the abilities the weaknesses and such and of course some bullet points to help you clear this fight so without further ado let's start this video so as always we will start off with the weaknesses resistances and the abilities of the last boss which is the Ankh Beast. Now the Ank Beast is weak to the Thunder Element and doesn't have any resistances. Now as for its ability, there are two different kinds. The first one is the Airborne stance that the Ank Beast has. And this actually adds a weakness to the Ank Beast which is range physical attacks. So if you have any one of those characters, they are going to be helpful. The first ability it has is Aurora, which is a Wind Magic Brave attack, Onslaught, which is its melee HP attack, Raining Sky, which is a Grip Range Brave attack, and this grants itself an attack up, defense up, and an initial Brave up to itself. Next it has Great Mazer, which is a Magic Brave attack, this also grants itself a speed up to itself. Next is Noble Wing, which is a group magic brave attack, which also has a low chance of inflicting paralyze. And finally, it has Land, which changes its modes from Airborne, Airborne to Grounded. This also cancels the attack, defense, max brave boost from the Monarch's disposition. So now let's take a look at the grounded version of the Ang Beast. Again, it has Aurora, which again is a Wind Magic Brave attack. Onslaught, again, which is a melee HP attack. Rise, this basically changes its mode from grounded to airborne, and this also increases its brave. Next, it has the Monarch Disposition. This grants Dawn to itself, which raises its attack, defense, and max brave. Next it has Grand Mash which is a melee brave attack which also inflicts a defense down and a speed down. And finally it has Awful Stream which recovers itself from its break status and does a magic brave attack plus HP attack. Alright so now that we know its abilities, weaknesses and its resistances it's time to take a look at some general tips and guide. And the first one for you guys is going to be save to save about 70% of your abilities for the last boss. Now this generally usually applies for the Cosmos fight nowadays, but if you are a new player this is something that you might need to do on the EX version of the fight as well. Try to save that those abilities as much as you can, however if you are a veteran player I think the EX fight you probably will push through even without saving much of your abilities maybe about 50 to 60 percent on the last boss for the ex fight if you're a veteran then you should be fine 
Now, the next one is to bring in the boosted characters, such as Fran, Belfier, and Ash, and of course, we have Rydia in this one as well. But if you don't have any of these characters, there are plenty of other characters that you can bring. Now, there are, there is, there are, sorry, Quistis, Cloud, Furion, Thancred, I think will still do a little bit well, although he may be up in the power creep department right now. Uh, you have Zack, Agrius, Bart, Sarah, Sephiroth, Freya, Vayne, Lael, Squall, Lightning I still put there because the boss is weak to the Thunder Element, plus she can get some free turns as well. Then you have Renoa, Kefka, I still put him here. He is a good debuffer and those, those unique um, HP, no HP attacks debuff and blind can probably help you here, but he's probably in the bottom in terms of the buffer for this particular fight because Ferris and Vanil are probably the better choice as the boss have a lot of frame buffs that Kefka cannot remove. Now as for the healer plus brave battery options, you still have Rem there, you still have Selfie, Maria, Echo, Lena, or Kate Sith. Now the better option here is obviously going to be Lena, and there's no doubt about that. Uh, Selfie can be your second choice I believe in this fight, just because the prevention of those debuffs are actually gonna help you in this fight. Now as for the summon. You can either bring Ifrit or Shiva, but personally, I would probably bring Ifrit in this fight. Okay, so now that now that's out of the way, let's take a look at some general tips for the fight itself. Now, the first one is obviously going to be for your support, and I still feel like Quistus is the best support in this fight. Even on the Cosmos fight, it, because there are two of the Ang Beasts on the Cosmos fight, you can still delay as much as you can to get rid of one, so you don't really have to worry about uh, a second one that's going to do an HP attack on your team and mess up your run. In the EX version, of course, Quistis is the like superior choice because you can there is only one of them and you can pretty much delay that thing to the end of time so the next one is going to be the boss does start with airborne mode you should be safe at this mode in a way because it actually doesn't have any brave plus HP attacks in this mode so just be careful and watch the turn order and make sure you can re-break the boss because it does do a ton of damage so having a tank will probably help you here as well at least you know they're only targeting one but they do have all attacks which are like raining sky which yeah, it, it is quite powerful because it does buff itself with that one as well and of course they have noble wing which can paralyze your team as well although they are not much of a threat in terms of killing your characters you are quite limited to the amount of turns you have in the cosmos stage so having being inflicted by paralyze probably is not the best choice now, now the next one is the boss will have frame buff. So basically you either steal it with both here or remove it with Ferris or Vanille. Then you can debuff it because frame buffs tend to stay. You can't push them out. So the best way is actually removing them then applying your own debuffs. Now the last one I have for you here is sort of what I mentioned earlier. Because the boss does uh, buff itself and it also inflicts inflicts debuffs so the best choice to bring in terms of your support or healer is going to be Lena or Selfie because they can block any of the debuffs on your team now obviously Lena is the superior choice just like I mentioned earlier because her block is pretty much a hundred percent once she masters the wind drake um, frame buff Selfie can still block. It's not 100%, but still it is quite useful. 
Alright, so now that is out of the way, let's take a look at some possible party compositions. This is probably what you guys all have been waiting for in this video. Now the first one is going to be the boosted characters. Fran, Fran both here, Ash and Rydia with a Quistis support. And of course you have the choice between Ifrit or Shiva for your summon. Now let me see, if I'm gonna make a party here, it'll probably be... It's a hard choice, but Ash definitely needs to be there. Uh, I do believe Fran is actually quite useful in this fight as well, as she does apply a uh, frame debuff. Balthier can steal, so it's actually between Rydia or Balthier. If you have Rydia's EX, she would probably be a tad bit better choice because she can give you guys a like a uh, party-wide water imperil, in, in sorry, water enchant and a water imperil on the boss as well. That means you'll do a little bit more damage. The boss is not naturally weak to water elements, so I, it's it's a bit of a toss-up here. It's actually quite hard for me which one to pick. But honestly, the first three is actually pretty useful already, like Fran, Balthier, and Ash. So. That's going to be up to you. Now the next one is of obviously the video that you are watching right now, which is Vaughn, sorry not Vaughn, uh, Zach, Vayne, and Lena with a Quista support with Ifrit and Shiva summon. Now obviously Vayne is one of the best characters that we have right now, and if you do have him, you'll probably score a decent amount of high score here, and yeah, you'll probably like clear this in half of the required turns or maybe sorry not half but maybe in the 40s or the 50s if you're really really like aggressive uh in this video i wasn't as aggressive as i thought i thought i was i was trying to save some of my abilities but in the end i probably didn't need to be so um uh, like thrifty with my abilities <laughs> i guess that's the word i'm trying to look for but yeah um, a little bit aggressive more, maybe I could have cleared this fight a lot faster. Now the next team I have here is more of a offensive team. Uh, obviously Zack is an offensive tank as well, but a, a tank nonetheless. I think he was a much safer choice. For the third one, it's going to be Vayne, Sarah Renoa with a Quistis support. Again, be choose between Ifrit or Shiva, it's really up to you. Essentially sort of the same here, but really really aggressive. Just like I said earlier, in airborne mode, they actually don't do any Brave plus HP attacks. So you are quite safe in a sense. Uh, in terms of getting one of your characters killed, uh, the Paralyze can be a bit painful, but if you can actually delay just one of them enough, then you should be fine. Now the final team I have here is something that I haven't actually tried yet. This is Zac, Vanille, and Renoa. Um, with a Quista support and again Ifrit slash Shiva summon. Uh, if you don't have Vayne, and you have Vanille, this is probably the better choice for you. Uh, if you do have Vayne, you can always swap out Renoa or Zac, depending on how aggressive you want to be in this fight. But overall, this is quite a safe team in terms of you have a tank, then you have something to destroy their buffs, and you can debuff them as well with Vanille. If you have her EX, Definitely gonna be helpful here as well, and Renoa is just probably one of the best um, DPS that we have right now. Probably a little bit better against Vayne in this fight, at least in the Cosmos. I feel because she does apply a splash damage while Vayne doesn't. If you have Vayne and swap her out, you probably have a lower turn count overall which is really nice that means you're probably gonna clear this fight and get all the rewards um, but Renoa I think will do a little bit more damage because of that splash damage 
So we are finally at the end of this video and of course I will give you guys my final thoughts on this fight. But before that I do want to correct myself in one of the things that I said in my previous video on the Radio Lost Chapter if you guys have actually seen that. Uh, if you haven't uh, I'll leave a little card up here and you can um, watch that and basically I said uh, Radio was the, the I think the last level 60 character that we have but obviously I was wrong Fran is the last level 60 that we uh, last character level 60 that we will get uh, and then we will be starting on the level 70 era so with that out of the way with me correcting myself um, what do I think of this fight so I think I think this fight, at least in the Cosmos stage, is a little bit rough. That turn count requirement of 60 turns, and even with Vayne, I end up having like 50 turns or something. It, it's kind of rough as a new player, uh, I have to say. And as a new player, you're probably not going to even try Cosmos. but even for a veteran player that is quite a restriction in terms of turn counts and having to fight two bosses as well uh, it's yeah it can be a little rough if you don't have Vayne or Renoa um, or Golbez for that matter I think Golbez is still one of the best characters that we have and for some reason I didn't add him on the on the list um, so, but yeah, go, I, I will, when I edit this out, I'll go ahead and add Golbez there, but I probably won't mention his name, so there you go. Um, what else can I say? The EX is obviously not as hard anymore for veteran players, but for new players, probably still a little bit on the dif difficult side, uh, I must say, but you probably don't need, uh, Fran or Ash or any of those characters in order for you to beat this you you will need a good some good characters but overall they you don't need like the boosted characters in order to clear this fight so that's something that um, new, new new players probably will like um, but overall yeah I would say the EX it's middle of the road for me because you can't have Quistis there's only one boss and you can just delay it to the ends of time as for the cosmos I wouldn't say this was a little more difficult for me versus the ice caves I think the ice caves was more annoying than anything um, but then again we didn't have Bane at that time I think I'm trying to remember I, I don't think we had him so yeah, I think the Cosmos is a bit more difficult here just because of the turn restriction. Not not necessarily the boss itself, the mechanics of the boss. It's not really unique. You know, it has an airborne mode and a grounded mode. So, and you know you're kind of safe on airborne mode as long as you watch the turn order. So I wouldn't say the fight is hard. It's more the restriction that makes it hard. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, I think I will end the video right here. Remember to click like, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful at all. As always, I'd like to hear from you guys what you think of this fight. Leave it down in the comments below. Did you feel the same uh, in regards to the Cosmo stage where the fight wasn't exactly hard itself? It was more the restriction that sort of made it hard. Um, remember to follow me on social media as well. Uh, on Facebook and on Twitter at Monchkins Gaming. This is Monchkins logging off, and I'll see you guys in the next level.